In this video, we're going to take a look at one of the steps in Word Chapter 1 skill-based training in my IT lab. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of trouble with this one uh, for some people. It's the 13th exercise in the skill-based training. Uh, and There's a couple of different things that we need to do, uh, but this one does seem to give some people trouble because my IT lab is looking for a certain way to do things and sometimes people find a new way to do things. Actually the biggest clue to this project is seeing exactly how to do things from right here. Um, if you're going to use the ribbon you need to use this method. Uh, you can go to the very beginning of the document any way you want but control home is a quick way to get there. But then my IT lab is expecting you to go to the page layout tab. That's not the place where everybody always goes to find a page break, but we're going to go and do a break in that area. So I'm going to launch this training and I'll be able to show you exactly what I'm talking about here. Now this is something that you might end up seeing in several of the trainings where my IT lab has a certain method for you to do things. Just like anything in Windows or Office, there's a lot of ways to do the same thing. But in this particular task, we can't do an insert page break. If we choose this option, it's actually going to show us an incorrect action. So we cannot use this page break. We must go over into Page Layout and Design, under Breaks, and choose a page break. And as you can see, that one went through without any hassle at all. Uh, we place the insertion point at the beginning of the document. We can do a Control Home, or we can just move the mouse all the way back up there and, and click in the top. We'll type in Director, and there's the next step. We're going to double click the footer area on this first page. And one of the things we want to do here is we want to make sure that the footer doesn't display on the first page. Well, we can't just simply take it out of here. Or it'll take it out of all the footers. Instead, what we're going to do is we're going to say that there's a different footer on the first page that just doesn't happen to have this in it. So we will have a different first page. Um, then we're going to close the header and footer. We can do that right up here. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to change the view of the document in the View tab. We're going to click Zoom and change to 125%. Now there isn't a 125% option. We can type that in though and say OK. And you'll notice the Zoom does change. There's also a way to do that down here, but as you can see, my IT lab is expecting you to use the ribbon for this particular step. So the key to this is what my, what my IT lab is trying to show you is there's a particular way to do this. If you find other ways, great. But if this is your first time ever changing the zoom in a Word document, here's a pretty easy way to do it. So uh, just keep that in mind. This is good training for somebody doing this for the very first time. Now we'll change our zoom back to 100%. We can do that the quick way right here. We're going to place the insertion point at the beginning of the document. This time I'll just scroll on up and place it up there. We're going to go File. And we're going to preview the document as it would appear for a printer. And we can do that right here. And then we're going to return then back to the layout view once we're done taking a look at what the printout would look like. And once we do that, we've completed the assignment successfully.